So when I see the lesson learned, this one, I will talk about Warren Buffett. He always talk about this one. It may take 10 to 15 years to build a great reputation, and it may take only two minutes to destroy the reputation. And that is happening for this company. All this tech company Absolutely. was being branded as one of the best organization to work on, one of the best loyal uh, company. Their employer branding is completely fried. Why? Why it's happening? So it's, it's to me like the bright side of, of this one is this one for company who downsize themselves in big amount of time, big amount of percentage is the, the good side of this one. Yes, they could make up the numbers. They could pay the benefit back to the shareholders in the stock market on the owner of the company. That's, the, that's probably the only good side. Another good side is about is now they are getting into much more leaner and much more well organized manner which probably they exactly the need to thrive forward i think that's the only two bright side I, I'm, I'm seeing number two is let's say in the, if i will talk about the questions the question about why the companies tech companies hire such a big team was it the reason they're hiring such a big amount of people to help the companies to increase the valuation because we know just facebook itself got devaluated themselves with 800 billion US dollar in just few months of time. So was they have been hiring so many employees to justify that excessive amount of bubbled valuation or not? We probably need to study their, their, um, their finance book to understand more about it. But now let's talk about what is the lesson learned we got from this thing. So when I see the lesson learned, this one, I will talk about Warren Buffett. He always talk about this one. It may take 10 to 15 years to build a great reputation, and it may take only two minutes to destroy that reputation. And that is happening for this company. All this tech company Absolutely. was being branded as one of the best organization to work on, one of the best loyal uh, company. Their employer branding is completely fried. Um, and and that will it will take them years to years back to regain back to the trust again because when it's the, the trust and the brand is burned it takes a lot of time to rebuild again maybe the company will start forward but it will be never branded the way it's supposed to be number two lesson learned is this changes are important when there is a company in difficult time the organization should be doing the changes well and not just well the changes should be done excellently so that means the bigger the change in the organization the bigger the impact so the change management needs be, need to be done even much more better than that one too so that's the only way to handle um, those change management and, and reducing the impact uh, we've been listening these hundreds of stories in around social media where the people from google or big companies next morning they wake up they come to the computer and they say they cannot log into their computer and then the they, they call to the line manager and line manager is saying this one, oh, you have been laid off. We have to let you go. That is not called a great change management. So a change management need to be well done, not only about just for firing the company, but actually implementing all kind of change in the organization. So in my perspective, I see there's a big room for organization to invest, to upskill, reskill, and up to date the change management skill set for the managers for adopting and more importantly, take the best out of the change because end of the day a company want to make the best out of the changes for the good of the people and the company and the brand and the shareholder for for in together not for just one one part of it so now what are the opportunities left out so i will be telling about the same thing like like you mentioned pedro is opportunities there right now the small companies have a big opportunity to get a lot more great talent it's for them to try forward it's not just a small company but also mid-sized company who have been doing well or okay now it's time for them to onboard those talents and really try this forward with those talent too but to that will only happen if there are few things has been done one if they do a really strategic business plan they make number two they also know how to build the right culture to accommodate those talent and retain the stand into the company too number three this is the time for them to also to boost the, the employer branding of the companies so that they can keep getting those great talents and having them in the organization too 
And number four is it will be building the right process because when the, the talents coming from a big companies, great companies, they have a high expectations from the leaders and the process of the company and also the culture too. So these are the three things need to be built to sustain great talent as well too. Otherwise they were left out and those talents sooner or later they even start up their own businesses or become a freelance consultant as well too. They have many other options. So the goal is about having those talent in the organization by getting those three right in this meet companies or, or, or a good companies or a company is about to be good. And these talents can help them to become a great companies. Because why? Because I like I said earlier, from 10 to 100 million US dollar revenue company, talent is number two. But when you go 100 million dollar to 1 billion revenue, the number one is talent because then time company need each of the peoples in the company be highly innovative and highly self-driven to take the company forward to the next level.